good afternoon. Uh, my name is Mike Carr. I'm Senior Projects Manager with Rolls-Royce Bergen Engines. And uh, welcome to the Geneve project installation, uh, whereby uh, we're talking about uh, our first Rolls-Royce Bergen engine, land engine, within the country of Israel. One that we want to be a flagship for many more future projects uh, in this country and in this region. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll talk about the engine. This engine is uh, our BV12 uh, gas engine and the engine is uh, producing uh, 5.61 five uh, megawatts in total and, and that is using uh, natural gas as fuel. Uh, a V12 engine uh, and as we can see that it's turbocharged. Uh, the turbochargers give us uh, uh, the increase in mass flow rate of air pushed into the cylinders that give us a very high efficiency of around about 48% for these engines which is uh, world leading uh, in that field. Uh, we also do these engines in a 16 cylinder model and, and the biggest one we do is the BV20, the 20 cylinder model that can produce about 9.4 megawatts. Uh, we're, we're very proud of this particular project. Uh, we are very proud to work uh, in Israel with uh, uh, a world-renowned company like Telemenia as an EPT contractor. And, and we're looking forward to, uh, like I say, several more projects uh, like this. Um, if, we can, if we can look at the ventilation system uh, that's been put in, this provides all of the air for the turbochargers for the cylinders and it all pro also provides all of the cooling and the ventilation for the plant. So that air has got to be filtered and very clean indeed for the engines to work well. If we move round the engine, again if we, if we see from here, We see all the connections for the engine and we see the charge air cooler whereby the turbo the turbocharged air has to be cooled before it goes into the engine. We can see below the natural gas supply coming in to the two, two cylinder banks in the yellow. And we can also see all of the auxiliaries like cooling water, lube oil systems. Uh, that are needed for the effective operation of the engine. Above us, we see the exhaust gas from the turbochargers. The exhaust gases drive the turbocharge to uh, compress the air to push it into the cylinders. Uh, and then the exhaust gases are utilized in uh, a, a shell boiler, a waste heat recovery boiler uh, that will add to the efficiency of the cycle. Yeah. Okay. Should we should we move on? This is the boiler that creates the steam. Yeah. Yeah. This 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 boiler unit will utilize the waste heat and will create uh, so many tons of steam for the Geneve paper mill factory. Which will go through this uh, No, no, no. The the exhaust gases then go out uh, by a silencer to uh, to the atmosphere and the sounds that is needed to reduce the noise levels. You will see the building is in a, an acoustic enclosure uh, to make it uh, environmentally friendly when it's operating from a noise point of view. Or is it very loud? Uh, the, the, engine, the engine is a reciprocating engine. Uh, it, it is uh, designed for one meter away from the engine to be the best possible noise levels that can be obtained. But still, for the environmental reasons, we do need to have the acoustic enclosure. <laughs> Here we are seeing the boiler control system for the waste heat recovery boiler. This was actually put in by the EPC contractor, Telemenia, 
Uh, in this particular project, it's not within our scope of supply. Uh, but as, a, as Rolls Royce Bergen Engines, as a company, we can do all the scope from uh, supplying a basic engine and the balance of plant to a full EPC contract installation that the client may require. <coughs> here, here we see the other cylinder bank of the engine with the turbocharger and it gives you a good idea of the installation. Uh, if you would like to come to the end, we'll show the alternator. Uh, the engine unit is uh, very well designed from a torsional vibration theory and application viewpoint and the flywheel and the torsional vibration damper are all cal calculated for optimum torsional vibration performance. Here we have the uh, coupling guard that leads to the uh, 5.6 megawatt alternator, uh, which is ABB supply. Uh, so what you can see is not only do we make uh, the, the build the engine uh, from scratch and design it, uh, we're also incorporating major suppliers like ABB for the alternator and on this particular project ABB will supply the turbo charges as well. Here we see the main foundation block for the engine and you can see underneath it's on anti-vibration mountings and that is the design of, uh, of a V engine of this scale. Here we see the main engine control cabinet that will be commissioned with the engine very soon. And that is to allow uh, the operator to optimize the performance of the engine. Uh, here we see the main lube oil filters and the lube oil heat exchanger. This is part of the balance of plant that we would supply for this particular project and any other projects. And here, this, this is a gas compressor needed for this facility. The gas supply is only two bar. We require about approximately five bar for the engine to function. So the gas compressor is needed. Ideally, if you have a higher pressure, you won't need that compressor. Just, uh, this is the, uh, the gas regulating unit. The gas regulating unit will receive uh, natural gas at five bar pressure approximately from the compressor and deliver it uh, to, the, to the four bar pressure that the engine needs. Uh, so this is part of the balance of plant also.